Now, your local weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, congratulations to Rosie Rogan of El Dorado, Arkansas. You're our winner of today's Umbrella Day giveaway, courtesy of Shed Rain. If you'd like to win one of these umbrellas, you can head on over to myarclements.com. Register there. We'll announce the winners every weekday here at 6 o'clock on NBC10 and our sister station, Fox 14, at 530. So congratulations, Rosie. Certainly did not need the umbrella today. Lots of uh, blue skies out there. Got the sun starting to set. Look at this uh, just beautiful view out there. There. Temperatures are also starting to drop very, very quickly. That air is dry and uh, the skies are clear so that heat energy is being allowed to radiate into space. We've now dropped into the 60s. We were in the mid-70s about an hour or two ago or so and uh, now we're cooling off quite nicely here. And uh, temperatures now kind of a mixed bag of 60s and 70s across the area. A little bit warmer off towards the southwest. Those folks have been seeing a little bit more of the way of a warm up here over the last 24 hours. But all of us getting in on that because we didn't see a lot of cloud cover today. A lot more sunshine and uh, just a beautiful way to start our weekend. Live from Tracker Doppler Radar brought to you by Yorm Young. Not showing anything due to some weak high pressure in place over the area, keeping our region fairly clear. But you notice that there is a mess behind me, and that is now Tropical Storm Nestor. This is the only disturbance that's really occurring in the Gulf right now. And look at how quickly it is moving off towards the north and east. So it's uh, pretty much out of our neck of the woods now. The only impact that we saw from it was that mid and upper level cloud cover that we saw yesterday. So Nestor will continue to do its thing off towards the north and east, not impacting us. We certainly could use the rain from a little bit of a tropical disturbance, however, without the tropical disturbance. But we will see the potential for some rain here as we head into the next uh, few days or so in the form of a cold front. So we watch this one coming in for Saturday here. It gets close to us, brings some moisture, some cloud cover, maybe even an isolated shower, but I think Future Tracker is overdoing it, at least for Saturday here. This front washes out over us. Until we get to about Sunday or so, there will be a little bit more moisture, better upper level support for more of those uh, scattered showers and storms, especially during the afternoon and evening for Sunday. We'll get a brief break from that, but notice this uh, quick approaching cold front off towards the north and west. That will be our next chance for showers and storms as we go into Monday, and uh, those will move in pretty much throughout the course of the day Monday. So there will be the potential for some severe weather with this. This is a slight risk issued by the, the Severe or Storm Prediction Center, and uh, again, mainly for the eastern half, roughly, of the Arklamis. Mainly damaging winds. Could see maybe an isolated brief spin-up and uh, some small hail with the storms as well. But not expecting that for tonight. Beautiful for outdoor plans. That includes Friday night football, so uh, just make sure you pack a jacket if you're going to be Heading out and about for tonight, it will be quite chilly with lows in the lower 50s. And then for tomorrow, downright beautiful, just a tad bit warmer though. As we'll get into the lower 80s, it'll be a little bit more humid too with some of those afternoon clouds expected during the afternoon. So 70 forecast shows that again, the best chance for rain looks to be Monday with that cold front. There will be that potential for severe weather, so just keep your eye to the sky on that day. And then once that system moves out, though, looking beautiful for Tuesday, Wednesday, even into Thursday, gradually warming up from the lower to middle 70s. And then we'll see another system swinging in by the time we get to Thursday into Friday, bringing that scattered shower and storm chance back. And uh, so we're in it for fall weather. It looks like we'll see kind of some bits and pieces of fall weather, some warm, humid weather, and stormy weather. All right, Brian, thank yep. you so much. And guys, sports is coming.